please don't do these get rich quick schemes. Forget it. There is no way at all that they are doing that for you. Hi everybody, unfortunately we have had almost every single week, especially in the last few months, I don't know why, people calling us and basically telling us their stories about how they gave money to somebody else, even a broker for example, and uh, now they just can't you know, get hold of their money again or they can't withdraw their money. And one thing I have to say about this is, you know, well several things. One, um, a broker is somebody who just brokes between you and the market. You tell the broker what to do. You know, the broker should never ask you to invest your money. That is not a broker's uh, uh, job. So I'll come back on that. But here's a couple of things that you need to watch out for. Number one, they need to be FCA regulated. In other words, they need to be regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. So on their site, there should be a number and then you go on the FCA site and you check that they're actually on there. And if they're not, please just avoid it. Just avoid it. Okay. Two, like I said, they should not trade on your behalf. That is not their job. Okay. Especially online brokers and deep discount brokers. And you should be taking control anyway. Why would you give your money to somebody else to invest? Please stop doing that. So again, I mean, like almost on a weekly basis, we get this now where, I mean, I just got one yesterday where somebody got contacted by a broker. How did they get your details? Like, where was the opt-in for that? Like, you need to ask them some hard-hitting questions. Like, how did you get hold of my details? And if there's anything uh, smelly about that or fishy about that, just say thank you and put down uh, the phone. Just don't, I, I wouldn't even talk to them. The other thing that I would do is I would ask them, okay, so this thing that you want me to invest in or whatever it is, um, how much of your own money have you invested? They're going to give you some bullshit like, oh, we're not allowed to invest in the things that we recommend. Do you know what? Then I'm not interested because if you don't have skin in the game, what makes you think that I should put money into something that you were just recommending? But again, that's if they're, rec they're asking you to invest the money. If, if they're saying they will invest the money on your behalf and they'll trade it on your behalf, just don't do it which is, leads me to number three, which is the only reason that you're thinking about it is because they're promising you high returns, aren't they? Okay, so anything which is above, you know, 3% a month is something which not many people can do in this world. I mean, we teach you how to do it, but we teach you how to do it. And it takes you, you know, one, two, three, sometimes four months to learn how to do it. And that's on 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day for four months and you have to go on a course with our support, right? So once you then can practice and practice, then you can do this. But who are these people that are ringing you and promising you more than that? I mean, like, okay, so if that's the case, like show me your account, not some Excel spreadsheet, but actually show me, um, you know, it, you know it, they'll probably be promising you what? 10% uh, uh, a month? Forget it. There is no way at all that they are doing that for you because to do it on their account, maybe, but to do it on large amounts of money, i.e. yours and, you know, Ted's and Roger's and Marcus's and large amounts of money is extremely difficult. Okay. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's very unlikely and very, very fishy. Okay. And the other thing is, Sometimes you might go, oh, all right, then I'll do it, which you absolutely shouldn't, okay? But you might put a small amount of money in. Let's say you put in 250 pounds or something just to test it out. What's going to happen then is they are going to maybe make you some money, maybe not. But what you should do is take your money out just to see whether they let you. Because we have all these horror stories of um, them either not being able to take their money out or it now, you know, they put 250 in and within two months it's like worth 3,000, which by the way is ridiculous. It means that there is no risk management at all and they could lose your money just like that. And the guy is trying to take out his initial amount of money and it has been pending for three days. So already it's like there's no way that money is gone. Guess what they're doing now? They're asking him to put more money in. So when they request you to put more money in, that is an 
uh, uh, that is a big, big no-no. Okay, so any of those things that happen, please just don't even entertain the idea. Listen, if it sounds too good to be true, it normally is too good to be true. My advice to you is to take control of your own finances because the only person that really cares about them is you. They don't really care, nobody else really cares as much about it as you do because they're your finances, that of your family, of your children. Think of the inheritance. Please don't do these get rich quick schemes. And you know, forewarned, you've been forewarned, please don't do it. And we receive emails and telephone calls on a weekly basis about this. A guy just the other week, you know, put some money with a broker, it's down 70%. That broker is like based on some island somewhere. It just, it's not even FCA regulated. Please don't do it. Just don't. And can you imagine, you know, or elderly people where they're basically putting in the last hope into something. It's disgusting. Those people should be, quite frankly, shot. And in my opinion, it's just my opinion, uh, but it is my opinion. And so just don't get involved. I hope that helps. Stay away. What you need to do is you need to educate yourselves. Do it yourself so that when you make a mistake, you learn from it and you become better. When they make a mistake, they never tell you what they're doing wrong. Just don't do it. I hope that helps.